Airships, while not as fast or powerful as planes or freighters, have some interesting benefits that innovators are trying to tap into by applying new technology to these old machines. Airships are much greener due to the fact that they can carry more than planes and move faster than freighters. And by surfing prevailing winds, they can travel at a respectable speed without burning much fuel. A paper released in 2022 has already calculated the greenest paths for airship travel, routes where they catch the best wind currents while absorbing the most solar energy. The Airlander 10, also known as the Flying Butt, is a hybrid aircraft developed by UK-based hybrid air vehicles, HLV. It produces up to half of the vehicle's lift aerodynamically, i.e., like a plane. Have and their partners at Collins Aerospace in the University of Nottingham think the Airlander will be all electric as early as 2030, producing 90% fewer carbon emissions than other craft. If all goes well, this will make the Airlander the first large, zero carbon regional aircraft on the market. New arrivals to the green airship scene include Google founder Sergey Brin and California based company Lighter Than Air Research, LTA Research. LTA Research has mounted a LiDAR system inside each of the Pathfinder 1's ballonets, which allows it to quickly and accurately map its surroundings. The Pathfinder is powered by a combo of diesel generators and lithium-ion batteries, though there's a plan to make it totally electric, just like the Airlander. LTA Research CEO Alan Weston also mentioned adding solar cells or hydrogen fuel cells to their airship. LTA Research has developed a rotisserie chicken-style system that rotates the entire airship skeleton, allowing airship rights to safely operate on the ground. This technology is combined with modern alloys to construct airships more easily and cheaply. Airships like the Pathfinder 1 can land where they're needed most, filling a humanitarian niche. French startup Flying Whales is designing a flying hospital called Flying Care, which uses vertical landing features to bring doctors to the heart of problems. The LCA-60T can handle big, unwieldy cargo like logs, energy towers, and wind turbine parts. However, there are still science and engineering challenges before airships make the jump from steampunk to solar punk. The load exchange problem is a pressing issue, as airships have enough lift to haul heavy cargo, but must adjust their lift when dropping cargo. Ballast is a possible solution, but it's too heavy for most airships. A compressor could squash helium closer together, making the airship have less lift. Public perception is another challenge, as airships, especially commercial passenger airships, may face negative public image due to the Hindenburg disaster. Helium is the second most abundant gas in the universe, but is hard to come by on Earth and is primarily found in just four countries. Hydrogen, less dense than helium and cheaper, is less of a bummer to release for load exchange reasons, but has been banned in the United States since 1922. The biggest hurdle facing airships remains the high cost of R&D, manufacturing techniques, pilots, fuel, and certification. With only 17 certified full-time airship pilots in the United States, the biggest hurdle remains the long and expensive process of proving airship safety to the FAA. Airships, once a luxury sky cruising option, are becoming increasingly expensive and expensive. Swedish airship service Ocean Sky Cruises plans to fly luxury tours of the North Pole aboard the Airlander 10 starting in 2026 for $200,000 USD. Despite the high prices, airships are not far away, as the FAA recently certified the Pathfinder 1, which sets safety standards for other companies. Have plans to roll off the first commercial Airlander 10 in 2026 and some airlines have pre-ordered their Airlanders. The U.S. Department of Defense is considering using the Airlander 10 in maritime logistics support roles. Flying Whales' prototype is expected to take flight in 2025, and while airships may fill niches, they are unlikely to fully replace planes and freighters.